Hey, I'm Mike Parsley with the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency. Um, I work in the outreach and communications portion of the TWRA, and my job is to help people get outdoors and hunting and fishing in the state of Tennessee. Um, what I wanted to do today is provide you with a little tip in regard to your umbrella rigs. So, in Tennessee, we can only throw a three hooked umbrella rig, and so uh, what you'll end up with are five wires, but only three hooks, and, and a lot of people have a problem with the fish uh, trying to eat the top two uh, lures that do not have hooks in them. So, what I've wound up doing, uh, and I learned this tip from, from someone else, is to shorten the top two wires by a considerable amount as relates to the bottom three. So you can see the top two are at least an inch and a half shorter uh, than the others. And you take take whatever came on the top and once you're short, you've shortened it, put a uh, spring keeper on top. And then you thread on your swim bait. What I thread on there are four inch Kitex. Um, I've got a pack of them here. This is what I thread on the top. And then on the bottom, when you get your umbrella rig, it's gonna come with uh, a swivel and then a clevis um, down to the rest of the bait. So you have that clevis. And what I wind up doing is just cutting that clevis all together. I cut that off and I put on a split ring onto the swivel itself straight to the head of the swim bait and then on the back I thread on the 3.8 fat Kitek swing impacts and what you wind up with is a, an umbrella rig that kind of looks like that with two shorter wires on top uh, and then three longer wires at the bottom. This middle wire is going to be longer than the other two bottoms and you want to bend it down just a little and so it'll end up looking like this. In regard to what we throw that on, we throw that, uh, today I'm throwing it on a medium heavy, this is a 7.2 Zodius medium heavy and then I throw it on a very very slow uh, geared reel. So this is a 5.3 to 1 reel. Uh, I found that most of the time you can't reel this thing slow enough. So reel it pretty slow and then I throw it on 20 to 25 pound mono. Uh, you can throw it on fluoro. Uh, I would probably not throw it on braid, especially in the lakes that we fish here. You can get away with mono and uh, you, catch, you catch a lot of fish doing it that way. So that's uh, my tip today and I hope that helps you with your umbrella rig fishing.